I'm going to give an overview here of the implications of the rollout of the new 4G fast broadband network in Ireland and how we can try to minimise the impact of this on, in terms of our digital terrestrial uh, TV reception, basically our facility reception here. So let's just first of all just give, give a quick overview of uh, what equipment that we would use when we're picking up uh, our Serview uh, reception. What we can see here is we have a UHF aerial and a cable that runs down here and normally then with a the connector on the end of it, it will run directly into our TV or Serview set-top box. So the first problem we see here is that the traditional analogue system in Ireland have allocated the full UHF spectrum for TV um, viewing. So it went basically from channel 21 all the way up to channel 69. So uh, during the changeover to Serview, they took the opportunity to actually um, uh, reduce the amount of the UHF spectrum given for TV broadcast down to channel uh, 21 up to channel 60. Uh, and in reality, they don't use any transmissions uh, above channel 58. So this left the space in the 800 um, band, uh, frequency band for allocating this over for um, broadband uh, rollout in Ireland, okay? So the, the complication of this is twofold. Number one is that the Serview uh, frequencies and also uh, the 4G frequencies are very close to each other. There's only a two channel break in between them. Uh, and then the second uh, part of it is uh, that the UHF aerials like this were capable of picking up um, channels all the way up to channel 69, which is well into the 800 megahertz frequency range, okay? So there's a possibility here that we're going to have interference from the 4G feeding into our Serview viewing. So how many houses would be affected by this? If we base it on UK figures, we think it's going to be around 10%, but I would believe in Ireland it'd probably be close to around 15%, simply because um, we have a weaker uh, digital terrestrial signal in general and a lot more people use amplification which feeds interference into the system, okay? And slightly complicates the situation. So we're probably looking at about 15%. So what action should you take if you, uh, uh, at this point? Well, if you're not handy with a problem, don't take any action. But if you have a situation where you have very good reception and suddenly it's pixelating and breaking up and you discover that a new 4G transmitter has been turned on in your area, it may well be that your um, Serview signal is being swamped by 4G signal and then you need to come along and actually take uh, action and that action is uh, to first of all minimize the chances that you're getting it by aiming your um, TV aerial directly at the transmitter and away from the, the 4G uh, transmitter but more normally what people will do is they'll simply come along and fit filter and we can see in front of us here two filters that we stock on our website they're exactly the same specifications in terms of what they can achieve, uh, but the main uh, thing on it is that one is coaxial, and you can see a coaxial type connector here next to this one, and an F type connector here as well. And this F type one comes with um, amalgamating tape, and it just means that it's suitable to mount this one outside, and it often is necessary to do this, particularly if you have a mass amplifier in use. In terms of what type of filtering will it give, well, these type of high end ones will give a total. Um, dB uh, filtering of about 55 dB, which is extremely high. And if you're very close, we'll say, to uh, a 4G transmitter, and you feel that the type of filtering you're getting here is insufficient, what you can actually do, you can actually use these in series. So you come along here, and you have screw one into the other here, and you can double up on your filtering, okay? Normally you wouldn't need to do that, but it is possible to do it. So filtering in most cases will solve it. Now we're going to have a, another video in this series which is going to cover the whole topic of how to actually fit these filters and how to cover implications like uh, ampl distribution amplifiers, mass amplifiers, etc. So that's it anyway, an overview of uh, the 4G 800 megahertz rollout in Ireland and its potential impact on uh, Serview digital terrestrial signal.